Hello everyone, this is Joao from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the esophagus and this time we're going to be looking at it in situ. So what we're going to be doing is exploring this image that you see right now on the screen which is the interior view of the open thorax. So imagine that we open the thorax, as you can see here, and then remove the lungs, also the heart. And then left here, you can see a bit of the esophagus and also this structure here, which is the trachea. You see a bit of the aortic arch, the thoracic aorta right here. Another important structure, the diaphragm and the stomach. Just a few things so you can understand what's happening here on this image. Now, if I remove all these blood vessels, all these structures that you see here, you can then see highlighted in green the structure that we're going to be talking about, the esophagus. Now, on the first part of this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the anatomy and functions of the esophagus, whereas on the second part, we're going to be focusing on the surrounding elements or the different neighboring structures that you find here around the esophagus. As I mentioned, we're going to be continuing on talking about the anatomy and functions of the esophagus. And in order to do so, I'm using this image right now, which is an image of the lateral right view of the thorax. If we were to cut your torso, as you can see here, this is the cut area. And then expose, we just removed here, then the right lung to then be left with the different structures that you see here, including this highlight, which is then the esophagus. You can see here the heart, which is then enclosed by this structure, which is the pericardium. You can also see here the superior vena cava, an important blood vessel, and the trachea. And this part here is then the chest. This is your chest and this is your back. So as you can see here, the green highlight is the esophagus. Now the esophagus is none other than a fibromuscular tube through which then food will pass through. And it does so through peristaltic contractions. So movements of muscle that will allow food to go through from the pharynx all the way to your stomach. Now in humans, the esophagus is around 18 to 25 centimeters in length. Now it also travels behind the trachea, as you can clearly see here on this image, and the heart, and passing through the diaphragm and then empties into the cardia of the stomach. As we move on, we're going to now show you the highlighted esophagus here now seen from an interior view of the thorax. I'd like to add that the esophagus can be divided into three parts. Now these three parts include a cervical part, a thoracic part, and also the abdominal part of the esophagus. And we're going to be highlighting them on the next slides. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.